Today we're going to install the JSP anti-squat traction brackets for the AE86 Toyota Corolla. The lower rear link on the Corolla chassis is designed to transfer the power from the rear end into the body of the car so that it can move the car forward. However, when you lower the car, this arm becomes angled. And now instead of just pushing the car forward, this arm is also pushing the car downward towards the ground. When this happens, you're not using the engine's horsepower just to push the car forward, you're also losing some of that power through the compression of the suspension via the spring on the shock. A traction bracket is designed to correct this angle so that all of the engine's power is used to push the car forward instead. Here's what's included. For the left side bracket, there's two short M12 bolts with two washers and two nuts. There's four M12 bolts that are longer with washers and nuts and then two short M12 bolts, washers, and nuts for the right bracket. There's also two spacers that go inside. The brackets themselves are laser cut from 3 16 cold rolled steel. They're then CNC bent to shape. After they're bent, these 1 8 inch spacers are rosette welded onto the bracket. And then the weld is buffed off for a really clean look. Each bracket set offers two mounting locations for the lower arm. One is a 50 millimeter correction and the other is a 75 millimeter correction. Finally, the brackets are powder coated in a durable wrinkle black texture. To install the bracket, you're gonna start by removing the bolt that holds the lower control arm to the rear axle housing. Install the bracket by sliding it over the axle housing. Install the two shorter M12 bolts from the inside to the outside in the topmost holes. Then goes one washer and one nut onto each bolt. Now slide the included spacer into the area where the control arm used to mount. Sometimes this is hard to get in from the front as these brackets can become bent. But if you go in from the backside, usually it'll slide up from behind and then up into the hole. Now install one of the longer M12 bolts into the original lower control arm mounting hole through the spacer. Then thread one of the included locking nuts onto the other side. These brackets are designed to press up against the back side of the original bracket. So when you put these bolts in, you'll notice that the bracket's a little bit loose. Before you begin to tighten the bolts, press the bracket up against the back of the axle housing to make sure that the back side touches the axle housing here. After you know that the bracket is secured against the axle housing, you can tighten the two short M12 bolts that are on the very top holes. Leave the bolt with the spacer loose for now. Next, slide the control arm up into place. Decide whether or not you're going to use the 50 millimeter hole or the 75 millimeter hole. On normal lowered cars, the 50 millimeter will do, but on very low cars, you're probably gonna wanna go with the 75 millimeter location. Use another one of the long M12 bolts to secure the lower arm into place. Then finish it off with another locking nut on the other side. After the control arm's installed, now you can go back and tighten down both of the longer bolts with locking nuts. Make sure that everything is tight and now repeat all of these steps on the other side. 